all right guys welcome back to the channel today mr dustin and i we are back at lake hodges coming from uh last week at pud the beat down at the pud if you guys haven't noticed Mr. Dustin got his own little camera. We're live. We're live. We're upgrading these videos, guys. So now you're actually going to be able to see the point of view for both of us now, which is going to be great. A little bit more eventful, hopefully. As of today, Mr. Dustin is still in top 10 for big fish for KBF. They're, they're closing on me, so we got some work to do. But... Yep. And for California, he is currently still in first, but he has some guys trailing right behind him. So today's objective is to just, you know, secure his lead, get on some gorditas, and then, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anything over 17, we're doing good. Over 17 is enough grit. So, all right, guys. So, we'll see you guys back in the water and hopefully we'll get on some gorditas. <laughs> all right, y'all. We are back on the water. Back to uh, good old Lake Hodges. That's what I mean by you gotta be ready. That's exactly what I mean by you gotta be ready. Oh my gosh, he hit that thing. The other thing you can see guys is these freaking birds. There are so many birds back here. Birds are gonna be where the fish are, where the bait is. But there was one right on the shore that just came up and took something up of the surface right here. This is just your standard striped king. We're just fishing. Oh, there we go. We're on. Feels like a good one, too. On the buzz bait. See if I can keep him hooked here. I got a big trailer. Oh my god. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hopefully you guys saw that. That was a big fish. Just spit my buzz bait. Darn it. All right, moving on. There's one. Little guy. <laughs> Little guy. Hmm. At least no skunk. At least got no skunk. Little hot dog. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. It just says fish. There should be spray paint on that that says fish here. I don't know. Can't get a bite. There's one. Flicker shed. Nice. Choke the flicker shed. Choked it. Not a bad fish. 14 inch fish. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, that was a monster. I know you guys saw that. So hopefully I can get that thing to bite. That was a big one. Definitely on bait there. It's an awesome blow up on cam. That was beautiful. There's one. Oh my god, that's a monster. That's a monster. That's a monster. That's a monster. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. 
Oh, nice. Oh man, on the flicker shed. That's a nice fish. 17 and a quarter. Just gonna wait on him because this guy's pretty heavy. All right, let's see where he's at. Three pounder, that's a good fish. All right, buddy. Get a little bit bigger, all right? My gosh, there's shad. And there's bite on the first cast with that, and that is a freaking giant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a giant fish right there. I gotta stop losing them. I don't. I felt like he got me in something, but why they're not eating the other bait? Another one. Well, I don't know what they're doing with the shad, but the shad aren't running. So but that first one felt like a monster. So here's another one. He's a small fish. But yeah, that felt like an unless he just got me in something, it was an absolute giant. So there we go. And then little guy. And I'm just gonna let this guy go. I'm not gonna mess with measuring him and taking pictures. I got too much going on here with this. So there's that small one, 13 maybe. So get a release on him. Oh, little guy. What the heck was that? <laughs> little tiny guy. There's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big fish right there. Let's get this one in the boat, dudes. Oh, he barely hooked. So, 100%, this is where we need to be. This pattern is what I need to be doing. I just, I gotta put him in the boat. This is, I gotta get this one in the boat. I don't know how big it is yet, but it's pulling like a freight train. I got my drag right this time, yeah. So I got my drag set correctly. Fish is right here, I believe. There we go, there we go. That's what we needed. That is what we needed, right there. That is gonna help a ton, a ton. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, exactly what we needed. This is the one we needed. Right there. So there you go, guys. That's gonna be another 21. It's 21 inch fish. Now I gotta get this measured without losing it. So 20, it's gonna be 20 and a quarter. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Get in there. Get in there. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a weird looking one. What the heck? He has like a little hunchback. 
Let's check this little weird guy out. Notre Dame Hunchback guy. That's a, that's a weird looking fish. What the heck? Biting me? Ow, he's freaking biting me. Who drew your big ol' underbite? Your big ol' underbite. What's wrong with you? You're a weird looking fish. 15 3 quarter. 15 3 quarter with his with his underbite and uh hunchback. He is a weird looking fellow. Alright man, thank you for playing. Yeah, I got a rock right here that I've never seen before. So I'm gonna hit this. Oh, and there was something right there. So let's do this. And there's fish. We're on guys. Again, these rocks, my gosh, man, if you find that isolated rock, you got them. Again, nice fish, man. I'm about pulled the rod out of my hand. It's got me in something, I think. There we go. Yeah, you get that isolated rock, they're on it. They are on it. All right, so this is where you see the kayak. I mean, you're battling, you're battling the fish, the kayak, the wind. I'm trying to stay off of the bank. It's... It's not the easiest thing in the world, is what I'm trying to say. So, much respect to all you guys out there. I really do. I mean, it's not the easiest thing. So, there we go. Not going to help me, but that's another one in the boat. But, yeah. Yeah, def definitely not going to help me. But again, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and submit this. Especially, I need to get one on the board and one measured just... I'll wipe that memory out of my head. So, there we go. I mean, what's that? Maybe a 15 incher. So, but that's another one on the board off the isolated rock. It is 100% today's pattern for me. Definitely have a pattern with the uh, flicker shed. That seems to be the thing that's gonna produce the fish today. It's not tiny like the, uh, the micro baits that uh, Dustin uses, but, oh man. But it's uh, it's small, you know. Look at this little freaking guy. This little hot dog. I mean, if I'm catching them and uh, catching them in all sizes, that means I'm doing it right. This is a scupper hole fish, maybe. Let's see. Let's see if he's a scupper hole fish. Oh, nope, he's not. Well, he'll go in the middle hatch. Kind of settled right here. I'm blowing me. Here we go. Oh, that's a monster. I think that's a monster. I think it is a monster. I saw a flash. It looked like a giant. Just stay hooked, baby. Oh, yeah, that's like an eight pounder, seven pounder. like a 24 just stay hooked baby I had that deep stay down stay down stay down stay down thought I lost it stay down stay down Oh, good and grief, yes. Thank you, Lord. My net, I'm hooked in my net again. If I have to wrestle this thing to the shoreline, I'm going to do that to get this picture. But yeah, look at this fish, guys. That's an absolute giant. 
All right, guys, that's 21, or 20, 20 and a half. Um, that's, that's a 20 and a half. 21 and a half, yeah. If I am out, I gotta hold this thing straight up. And it's gonna be right at four pounds, 4.03, 403. There's one, there's one, there's another one. Oh yeah. Okay, come on buddy, come on buddy. There we go. <laughs> A little skinny long guy. All right, 13.75. So guys, a 13.75. All right, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Demiki, maybe a winner here. The color works. There we go. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> there we go. This is trouble. Oh my gosh, dude! Do not set that in my hand, please. So I don't want these to start. Because when we're catching these, we're not catching others. So. But these are the ones that are getting eaten. So if they're here, hopefully the big ones are eating them. But that's the first hot dog, as Jared calls them. On the Demiki. Guys, always have luck in here. I just never do. But maybe, maybe today will change. There's so much structure in here. Look at all these trees and everything just... Oh my God. Guess that is gonna change. Oh, oh, oh. Oh man, he freaking crushed that thing. Where's he at? There he is. Wow. Crush that flicker shed. Wow. Nice. Yeah, this guy was not gonna come off. Alright. There's another one. Look at that, guys. Another one on the flicker shed. 14 and a half. 14 and a half inch fish. Nice. Thank you, sir. crushed that thing like he was a lot bigger. Jeez. I gotta play this really, really soft. This thing, it's hooked on the outside of the mouth, I think. think it's gonna get there so yeah this this is not gonna help me that's like a 16 and a half inch fish again but yeah not even 16 yeah just 16 let me get this release a little bit better so there you go all right girl there you go Give the fish an opportunity to kind of pick it up while it's just suspended there. There's a lot of fish in here. What the heck is this? Okay, this, this is a sculper hole fish for sure. Yeah, I like the, uh, the overzealousness, sir. Way too small. That would have like, that would have fed him for like the rest of the month. <laughs> this guy's so small. Wow. I appreciate the enthusiasm, little guy. I think my, oh, 
Yep, he is. There we go. <laughs> What I've really been impressed with on this thing is this little Kitek, is the weedlessness of this. It's got one, one and I think, I don't think it has two weed guards. Maybe it does, but. And there you go, on the Kitek. Like I said, I knew they were there it's just a matter of finding something they're going to eat and bam throw that little kitek jig something a little different and there he is not a big not a big fish by any stretched imagination but he's psycho um so yeah there we go on hunter's little ultralight thanks buddy so yeah there's a little kitek um yeah there's little guy so I'm not going to measure this one. I'm, he's 12, but I guess I could. 13 and a half. Yeah. Little guy getting the rocks there. There we go. I have a feeling there's, there's some bait getting pushed. That there's going to be something on these rocks. There we go. There we go. Got any size to it or not, I don't know. So what I like to do with this is get if I get bit and back that drag off. So I run it with the drag tight and it feels like it's got some size to this one. And back that drag off and if you can hear you'll this is absolutely the one I needed. So this has been an unbelievable day. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, this one is three ninety six, so two four pounders basically. Yeah, it's eight pounds and two fish. Plus, I didn't get to weigh the twenty one. So there you go, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So there you go. All right, good deal. Don't feel like you have to have a $150 rod and a $200 reel. There we go. Oh my gosh. This could be her, guys. This might be it. Oh no, no, no. That was the one that just ripped my heart out. Oh, jeez. So much bait. So it tells me that... Actually, this may have been where I caught the second one. There's that... Oh, oh, there we go. On your square belt. That was in the same place as the other one. I was just getting ready to say that was the same little stick up and that fish hit it. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna help me, but. We'll see. It's a Putting up a fight. Coming back up again. Don't. Oh, you suck. Let's see if there's any more in there. It's, that's that stick, that same exact stick where I had the other one. So I just bumped that stick. I think I got another one. Yeah, that's a better fish there too, I think. So they're on that stick. And this is a good one. So I know where they are now. I 
Yeah, this might be a nice one. You see the swirl. Oh yeah, good fish. So I need to get this one in the boat. So that's not drag. Uh, I'm freelining, as I said, I'd like to do. It just allows me to control it a little better. So get that fish down. I think he's got that deep, but I can't tell. I don't know how big he is. Either help me or not, guys. There we go. Finally got another one. So there we go. That, that might help us. Yeah, I can get it to a half. So and if the fish touches a half, I can get it to half. It's gonna be really, really close. It's either 17 and a quarter or 17 and a half. Come back up here. So there's 17 and a half. Slight upgrade, half an inch. I think half an inch. Let her go. Where'd my stick go? Right there it is. All right, so the stick is directly in front of us. Maybe 10 feet. I, something I'm finding too here with these fish, they are not boat shy. I mean, you saw how close that fish was when I hit it. And that was, it was on top of us. So there's another one. So obviously we have found some here. Again, on the stick. So I'm going to back out here, not get up on that spot. So, but like I was saying, they are not boat shy. They are not afraid of the boat. Um, another good fish. Oh, he spit it. That one would have definitely helped me. Um, it's a normal yearly closure for Hodges to be... There we go. To be closed. From, no, stay hooked. Stay hooked. This can have some size to it here, boys. Um... Yeah, we, yeah, that's a big one, guys. Hopefully you saw that. Um, that's like a 20, 4, 3. Yeah, this is a, a big fish here, guys. Man, I'm glad you're with me on this one. She's got it deep, too. I need to get her in the net. Yeah, this is exactly why we come to Hodges. Um... And she's in the net. So, yeah, big time catch right here, guys. Why you come to Hodges right here. And again, you see, BFS, if you don't have one of these, get you one of these. Yeah, I mean, they're sold without a doubt. So let's get this fish measured, get it posted. Yeah, we're going to get 21 and a half. And that is a major, major upgrade for me. So let's get get this out. Yeah, see, I don't want that to happen. I don't want that fish to flop in the water, especially before I get a picture. Yeah, she's hot. She came in the boat hot. I don't want her to do that. Is getting the right picture without losing your fish. And there you go, guys. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. I didn't get the picture. I don't know if that'll come, what we'll do there. I have no idea, but that's exactly what I did not want to happen. Oh my gosh. So drama, drama, drama. I knew that fish was hot. I was trying to avoid that. My net was not big enough. And there you go. Yeah, again, I'm glad you're with me. I'm glad you saw that. And it's just a gut punch. A gut punch. I got to get a new net. 100% <laughs> my net didn't catch that fish.
All right, guys, that will do it for today's video. Obviously, you saw for me, it was a pretty tough day uh, for Mr. Dustin. It was epic, epic. I wish I could have made it more epic, but it was a pretty epic day. I mean, it was seven or eight pounder up to the side of the boat. At least one, maybe two, that size. So, all right, so complete polar opposites. I had a pretty tough day. Mr. Dustin took all of my fun <laughs> and I just, I just gave it to him, I guess. But uh, obviously, Mr. Dustin's gonna take a majority of the video not, not just for both of us too you're going to see me have meltdowns had one jump out of the boat before i got the measurement on it so a 21 and a half out of the boat before you get a measurement on it submit to a tournament is not a good feeling that's what we all go through it yeah we all go through it. we are going to have slumps we'll Tomorrow see we'll uh getting that fish back there's a 24 on my line that, that came off today so thanks guys all right guys see you guys in the next one yep